All right, now that we have established that centipedes are in fact massive jerks, but um, perhaps slightly less massive jerks than we initially realized, we're gonna we're gonna go out there and we're gonna find this. I hope. Hopefully, I minimize some other stuff. PC, I find actually with Lone Survivor, I found I really. We don't want it to open. Oh shit, it's that thing we saw earlier. This game does some really good foreshadowing. Pitch dark. Oh fuck. I was hoping one of those was a collectible. Oh fuck. I think it's just giving you lots of items because you're trapped. To get outside. This game does a really good job of balancing the, um, you know, the objectives, and you know, stuff kind of happens, and you get you know pushed into a situation. Um, it reminds me of it's kind of like the opposite of um, Dead Space One, where the kind of the core loop was always, "Hey, Isaac, something's broken. Go, go fix the thing, Isaac. We're gonna chill here in a cockpit." Drink some booze, you know, while you're fixing all the stuff. It's fine, Isaac. You know, it's necrobars, but who cares? You, you got, you got the plasma cutter. Just go do the stuff. Then you know you'd fix the thing, and then other thing would also break, and and then they would send you down to the relevant deck, and that happens about six times, and then you end up on the planet, and then you kill the thing. Fantastic game, um, story-wise. Oh god, um, fantastic world. Poor story that's something that a lot of games crit stuff doesn't really do well like uh, there's a big difference between lore and world building that compared to uh, like story like i would say like dead space one the story is kind of just isaac fixing a bunch of crap and then you know finds and fights the the um what was it called the hive the, the big thing at the end um, but the world it's in, the necromorphs, the way the plot, the, you know, the overarching plot is, uh, described to you, um, yes, the audio logs and so on, um, really works quite wonderfully. Um, even if the general, you know, go fix the thing thing is kind of lame. Um, and Dead Space 2 really does deliver, oh god. Pieces. Um, um, Dead Space 2 does a much better job on the story stuff. It leaned a bit too heavy on the action, but the problem with. <laughs> the biggest problem with Dead Space 2 is kind of that it's too fun to fight things. Like the combat is really fun. Yeah, factory newspaper. And, and one of the biggest things, uh, one of my favorite guns is one of its biggest problems is the the uh, jav gun, the javelin. You shoot this big spike into them, and then you electrocute them with a secondary charge, and then when it's fully upgraded, it explodes. And it's just one of the most satisfying things in the game, or in like any game. But it forgoes the uh, limb shooting gameplay. But 
I felt it was pretty just, like, it, it was good enough, it was enjoyable enough to justify itself. Piece of cloth that an anime character on. It's been all ripped all over. It's an article for the one this factory was still open. It's a picture of metal. It's torn, but it says, the, it says more hand spirits show up deeper you go in the tunnel. Torn crayon note. Oh dang. That's, see, I really like the, like, a lot of these just give you the sense of unease, like, obviously a kid wrote this note and was seeing the hand spirits. The give it back, give it back, you know, that that fallen lady wrote. And the little accoutrements from the, uh, the drowned girl. Oh, this is where I started. Frick. It's a big container. Maybe we can hide inside it. Hmm. What would I- oh. Oh, fuck. I wanted the thing. Oh, fuck. I was running! What? Indomitable. I guess you get that for dying a lot or something. Yeah, I'm I'm really impressed with this game. If that's not clear, I uh, I really I really have no major complaints. The only thing the the, fl the flashlight you know kind of betrays the uh, 3D illusion. Like um, it shows up on background elements, sort of, which is kind of weird. Um, but uh, it's not like super noticeable. Like you can see it go. Like, it hits the tree, which, uh, it's not a huge deal, but, uh, I'm pretty sure there's an important key in that rubble pile. Oh, fuck, it's that kid. I thought the kid was, like, gonna be a friendly spirit when I saw the one on the playground, but I touched one once, and it is- If Dead Space 2, like some people don't like Dead Space 2 as much, uh, there's definitely pluses and minuses to the first two Dead Space games. Um, but Dead Space 2 is oh fuck, uh, is just fantastic. It has a few downsides. You know, it's not perfect, but oh god. Oh, there's a thing there. I want the thing. Smarted it for now. Oh fuck! A little boy. Whoa! <sighs> Don't go near the little boy's body. I guess. Is that the tadpole spirit? You know what? Let's go down and see if we can get that item. Maybe we have to give him back an item like that fallen girl. you gotta do is activate him kid sandal found oh he doesn't show up this time okay I think it just I think he charges straight ahead so I didn't know that maybe he needs a sandal back let me guess it's a key item oh it's we have so many of these items, it seems like we might be close to the end. Salt. White and smooth salt. Spirits don't like it. Interesting. Uh, where's that kid's sandal? Slippers. Did small pink sandal. Makes a funny noise when I step on it. 
I really like your little descriptions. It, they do a great job of selling, you know, her as a character. You know, he really sees a lot of things through kids' eyes. That makes things a lot more interesting. Like I said in an earlier video, I'm surprised how few games do fuck off. I didn't think they chased you. Fuck. Whatever, asshole. I got, I got the p puzzle piece. I actually extremely like that you get to keep items when you die. It makes things a lot more accessible, and it makes things a lot less frustrating. Um, but tip, tip, it's not real hardcore gaming if you don't lose progress. I strongly fucking disagree with that. Um, I would not say this game is easy. It's it, there's a difference between being easy and being forgiving. I like when games are challenging but forgiving. Thumper is a game that is very, very hard, but very, very forgiving. It has checkpoints, unlike basically every rhythm game on the entire planet. Fuck off. Fuck off, kid! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Eat that fucking kid. Not me! I hate these kid spirits. Glad they're dead. Jerks. See, I would not describe this game as easy. It's low frustration considering the difficulty, though, and I love that. Um, a lot of bullet hell games can be surprising like that, too. Like, you at least have the option to credit feed sometimes. Can I go away? Ah, come on! Completely wasted the salt. I don't think the rocks do anything against these stupid spirits. Not these particular spirits, anyway. It seems to distract the tall shadow men. Alright. It was this. Rusty small key found. What do you mean rusty small key found? Why can't I examine the boy's body? Ah, fucker. I hate these little kid spirits. I used to think they were kind of like creepy cute, but no. I hate them. They're, they're awful. They're awful! I hate them! They suck. Glad they're dead. Whatever. I got the key. That was... I, I was just saying. Like, I thought this game was, like, nearly perfect. That that region, that, that took me a few too many tries. Uh, some of it was my fault, but... There's... Oof. There's some ugliness to it, too. Um, what is the key for? It's gonna be something somewhere that moves that gate. I don't think I walked around this way. Did I? What's this? Oh, it's just. You know, invisible walls. Ooh, what's that red notice? Oh, shit. Where? Oh, I wanna read the spooky notice. Oh. Metal pipe found! Unfortunately, I can't use it as a weapon because this isn't Silent Hill. But, uh, yeah, we have. Wow, I was not expecting all of the salts to, you know, fill so many spaces. That's. It seems like we've got. We must be pretty far. Hey! It's like. Maybe I could use this on spirits, but I'm not really that strong. It seems like a Silent Hill reference. So, like I said, this, this does seem to have some Silent Hill feel to it, which is 
a very good feel to have. Can't have. Can't use the mon. Can't use the muns. Can't use the muns. Okay, we're not going that way. It's a much bigger area than I thought it would be. I'm so glad I got that mun. Uh, oh, puzzle piece fifteen. I'm so glad I forgot that. <laughs> That, that that got me. We got a picture book. <laughs> yeah, that that one got me good. I'm kind of glad I didn't like knock over my desk or something, cause that. Yeah. <laughs> we got a picture book though. You know. Let's look at our let's look at the picture book we died for. Look about a girl and a spirit who lives under her bed. They're smiling together. The the be friendly with the spirits vibe is is a a, a bit, teeny bit hard to, to to swallow, considering everything else, you know. And the one timeline where nothing killed her, she's like, yeah, spirits aren't that bad, but like. Seriously, they're jerks. Like, I I've had bad days. I've, um... I've been in a couple situations where people nearly got me killed. I I've never, you know, tried to murder a small child. Uh, out of sheer... Revenge? Hatred? Frustration? I don't know. W w w what's in it for these things? W w what do they have to gain? I don't think it has anything else back here, is there? No. Alright. I was totally expecting it for it to pop up again, but uh... Some things you only need to happen once. I got a key, but I really don't know where to use it. Do we go this way? See why I noped out. Ah. <sighs> so I don't even know how to get to the gate of this thing anymore. I thought it would be that way up where we got the key, but that seemed to be a dead end. get to that gate and I don't know if this key even works for that gate. Like how would that how would this key operate that gate? There must be some kind of control panel. Yeah, I'm kinda lost in this one. I do not know where this key would come in handy. Was there a gate somewhere? I remember seeing a gate somewhere, but I think it was before this whole mess. We already came here. I just can't go past this. Ugh. Yeah, it wasn't, you know. Gameplay wise, it wasn't much different, but the broken up roads in Silent Hill did a lot more effective job of being like, oh yeah, that's, you know, you can't go past the giant hole in the road. Uh, I guess this town isn't supposed to be totally screwed up when it's not nighttime, maybe? But still, like. Like. Fuck. Ah, oh, come 
on. I, I don't think you can get past that. I... Was there something down here? I really don't th I think there was. I don't recall seeing anywhere to see it. use this freaking key. I hate these kids here. I hate them. I want all of them dead. I mean, they are dead, which is part of the problem, but... <sighs> oh, crap. Fuck off! The only ways I can see to go are completely full of monsters. Unless they've pissed off in the interim. Oh my gosh. Oh! They chase after rocks like dogs! Maybe I can get past those then. Okay. I should have been experimenting more with my items. I guess. I did not... I didn't expect it to work quite that well. Like, that's... pretty extreme, but... I'm still not sure what will be this way that somehow lets me out of here, because this is, like, deeper in, really. Wait, did I see a thing? Oh, it's just the cage. Don't really need to go back in there. Still, it's past those jerks. So yeah, I guess they just don't have heads, so you just gotta not touch them. A car. Oh! Wait, what? What do you mean? It's too close! I guess I gotta frickin' rodeo around it. Sometimes that's nice. Sometimes that's important. Let's you not be repeatedly frustrated by something that's just annoying. All right. All right. We're doing we're doing all right. Um So that's a dead end. Zoom down to the oh fuck. Yeah, like I was about to say, I assume this is the right way to go. Uh nope. Nope, it's not. Never mind, do you gotta rodeo this thing around again? Is it gone? It's gone. <gasps> the door! Looks like it's locked. I have the key, I have the key, I have the key. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I can 
and edit it. Is this the Mako reactor or something? This is reminding me of the, the Mako reactors. But yeah, um, I can edit out a little bit of the failure with the area of those jerk kids that I hate a lot. I don't like, I don't hate that thing significantly less though. Oh. He just, he just popped up to, to give me a start. <gasps> Fucker! Alright, conserve your energy. Conserve your energy! Motherfucker! Fuck off. What the fuck? Where do I go? What? What? I hate the kids. I hate the kids a lot. Okay, maybe I'm stupid and tiptoeing around them was right all along. But this was in fact a dead end and I didn't just... Uh... Like how it's clearly, it's clearly rust but it still looks... Oh! Why did I not, oh did I not have the flashlight on? Well I'm kinda stupid. I can't believe I didn't notice that. I, I I tried a couple times, but I think I failed and I just gave up. But what good does the front key? How do I how do I get to the front gate? I don't think it was back here, was it? Like I don't think there's a way to do anything. No. So Maybe the big monster like breaks something and I can use it to get out. I hope I found all the items here because I'm not sure if this is a revisitable location or... Oh! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It's gonna break something. And I'm gonna fall out and be able to escape. Oh, come on! Come on! I didn't have a chance! That is really tight timing. So I was running the exact opposite direction and... Seriously, like... I I'm totally running. Okay, that time it worked. fell. HA! Serves you right, you stupid piece of crap! Enjoy that pillar. <sighs> Guess he bit off more than he could chew. The hands. Hey, there's a thing in there. Get the thing. I still don't know your name. The <gasps> Get the thing. <laughs> I love her little scared eyes. Get the thing. Old charm found. This is Sis's charm. Sis. exactly worked but the big ugly thing is dead and what do I call it? the night walker sis told me she was kidnapped by a spirit that walks around town at night sis held the charm up so tight that's all warm out 
worn out. But if I hold it tight enough, it makes my feelings warm. I didn't mean sis told you. All right, that was an action-packed night. Oh! What the hell? I've been kidnapped enough times, please. Thanks. Don't know. Huh? You just wanted to give me something? What is it? Black crayon note found. Old charm. Charm that Sis always kept close to her. Seems like this might be the last day, because we seem to be out of... Um, key items. Doodle note. Black note. Smudge note says give it. Oh, that's, that's from the other thing. Moldy note. Black crayon note. An old note. It says the kidnapped will be taken to the other side of the tunnel. So that thing was the kidnapper, but why would it why would it tell me that? Other side of the tunnel. I think that's the place that was covered in mist, wasn't it? Go toward the tunnel. Where's the tunnel? Uh, factory bridge. Train crossing. What do you mean the tunnel? I'm pretty sure it means this tunnel here. It's just not marked. So yeah, next time we'll head to that tunnel. I'm supposed to be editing a uh, guide for Neptunia versus Sega Hard Girls, but I'm just really engrossed with this, and I, I don't think I can stop until I beat it today. So uh, we'll be back.